This is an animated film which is composed of scenes from this animated series which is known by many names. All you need to know is that we have Sir Miles Nevers who is the founder and funder of this team which has its base, the NS Fort Liberty, which is this immense ship. Just to give you an idea how immense the ship is, it is the home base for these two robots which combine to form Magnos. You have Magnon and its pilot is Janice who is this world champion karate expert and Magenta which is piloted by Lady Esther Nevers who, well, she is a very uh, brave and intrepid young woman. There is a bit of romantic tension between the two leads but it is offset by the comedic antics of the support team which is composed of Gordo and Stretch and Yuri and this is very important that they are become a very cohesive team because they're going up against these aliens which has uh, an off-planet leader Xerxes whose alien civilization at one point did conquer the planet and its influence is known and felt across all the world's cultures but the leader is off-planet and he wants to reconquer the planet and so he has a representative, a leader on Earth, Brain. And the guy has kind of like a, a broccoli head, and but the villain design is just really out there and crazy, and that's to the series credit, which is good because I found the male lead to be kind of a, a flat, kind of stereotypical thing. However, I, I should cut them some slack because this was pretty early on in the history of this genre. And probably my two favorite characters were Lady Esther Nevers and Gordo, who I found to be very, very funny and interesting and multifaceted. Let me just also give credit to the fact that the robot itself had a multitude of weapon options. And I thought, in a sense, even though, of course, it predates Grant Morrison, I mean, it does kind of have this Batman feel where the robot, just in case we go up against the situation, we're going to have this ready. So I thought that was really fun and it's out there in a fun way and I'm glad I saw it. The animation is not outstanding but still if you have a yen, a, a, a nostalgic appetite for mech battles back in the 70s or mech adventures or you know that kind of really adventure um, animation I think this would hit the spot and I'm certainly glad I saw it. All right, guys. Well, that's all for now. I hope you're having an awesome day. And as always, thank you so much for supporting this channel. I invite you to follow me across all my social media at Lord Coyote 2000. You guys are both steely and true crusaders of justice in your own right. Take care now. Bye.